One of the emerging technologies we saw in the last decade was the advancement of augmented reality. Starting in the very premature days of Google Glass and working its way up to the Microsoft HoloLens, but now, a new decade brings a new product from a company called RealMax. The RealMax 100 is a new kind of AR headset that is competing with the likes of the Microsoft HoloLens and the Magic Leap headset. Now, I could talk about some of the differences that this headset brings to the world of AR, but I was fortunate enough to be able to talk with the CEO of RealMax, who was able to give further information about how these glasses stood against the intense market of existing AR goggles. We have a very big field of view, so that means that the picture you see through the augmented reality glasses is almost double the width of a HoloLens or a Magic Leap, which are our main competitors. A wider field of view is what will give these AR glasses greater immersion and make it feel like you are part of what you are watching, as opposed to just the feeling that you are looking at a small screen that has been placed in a headset. Like many of these products we see around CES, the RealMax 100 isn't solely for consumers right now, but it was certainly designed with them in mind. The RealMax 100 is really designed for consumers to wear, but for businesses to provide. So we're today looking at working with training companies, events companies, and other people who we could think of as being suppliers of glasses to consumers. But our glasses are optimized for events and training. These are what you could think of as loaner markets where somebody will put on the glasses for an hour and what that means is our glasses will work on top of prescription eyewear like mine that the glasses are cleaned every use so we have a, a, a clean box which takes away any bacteria from the glasses the company is also building both the hardware and the software for these glasses their software team is based in Seattle Washington and their hardware team is based in Shanghai China now one of the most important things to think about when it comes to AR is what kind of third-party apps are going to be able to run on the headset. Because if you are limited to only a few applications, the product can never really expand. Fortunately, RealMax has thought of this as well. So these glasses will work with multiple platforms, but one of those platforms is the Unity platform. And it really is very easy to take an application that was written, written for example, for Microsoft HoloLens, that was written, for example, for the Magic Leap 1, or for uh, Google's AR Core, or Apple's AR Kit, and to convert it for use with our glasses by just dragging a few objects into Unity. When I asked Nigel about when he expects to see these glasses make it into the hands of consumers, he said that AR technology is already available to the public, but he expects his product will be making its way to the public soon. Well, we think that consumers are using augmented reality now, and through the rental models, through the training models, we expect consumers to have their first experience of AR this year, although maybe through a brand, or through attending some kind of performance similar to going to a 3D movie at a movie theatre. In terms of consumers actually having these for full-time wear, I personally think that that's going to happen when the glasses are a little bit smaller, a little bit more like a pair of Ray-Bans. So that might be five years away. You can find more information on RealMax on their website linked below, and make sure you check out our other videos as part of Dragon Rider Network's coverage of CES 2020.